how pethidine induces respiratory depression in neonates first of all let us see what is pethidine pethidine is also called as meperidine and pethidine is a synthetic opioid which is categorized as an analgesic agent just like the morphine morphine is a natural analgesic whereas uh, pethidine is a synthetic analgesic and pethidine is used to control the moderate to severe pain particularly it can be used in the post operative pain as well as it can be used in the pain management during the labor so this is one of the important aspect because the pethidine can be given to control the pain during the labor where there is a chance of distribution of the drug into the placenta thereby it can produce some adverse effects in the neonates so pethidine can produce a respiratory depression in the neonates when it is used to control the pain during the labor so in this video we will see how this pethidine produces a respiratory depression in the neonates and how it can be controlled so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel to encourage us to produce more interesting videos So this is the structure of uh, pethidine and we can observe here the one of the heterocyclic ring system. So we can start the numbering here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So simply it is a 6 member ring system with nitrogen and saturated. So it is the piperidine ring system and uh, it is attached with the phenyl ring. So pethidine is chemically classified as 4 phenyl piperidine. Now in this simple structure we can observe here the side chains the nitrogen of the pyridine ring system is attached with a methyl group. This methyl group can be removed during the metabolism so that pethidine can be converted into norpethidine. Here the nor indicates N methyl group is going to be removed. Similarly pethidine can also undergo the metabolism in another way. Here we can observe the ester functionality. This ester can undergo hydrolysis so that the OC2H5 is going to be replaced with the OH and it can produce the pethidinic acid. So these are the two important metabolites of the pethidine, norpethidine and pethidinic acid. Norpethidine is an active metabolite of the pethidine whereas pethidinic acid is an inactive metabolite of the pethidine. In this way pethidine as well as norpethidine can produce some analgesic action thereby they can control the pain. Now let us see how this pethidine acts as an analgesic. Pethidine can act on the mu receptors and when this drug binds to these receptors it opens the potassium channels. These potassium channels are outgoing potassium channels. So when the potassium is going outside it produces the hyperpolarization and outgoing of the potassium channels can also inhibit the depolarization of the membrane resulting in the inhibition of the pain transmission. So in this way pethidine can inhibit the neurotransmission by acting on the mu receptors which open the potassium channels leading to hyperpolarization. Then what are the possible side effects with the pethidine? Because pethidine is an opiate just acting like in morphine it produces similar side effects like the morphine. So pethidine can produce the side effects like constipation, sedation, nausea and vomiting and difficulty in breathing. So pethidine can produce a difficulty in breathing and when this pethidine levels are accumulated, it can produce a respiratory depression. On the other hand, one of the metabolites of the pethidine is the norpethidine, which is also active. So norpethidine can produce the side effects like anxiety, hypotension and conversions. So norpethidine produces excitatory effects on the CNS, which may produce anxiety as well as conversions. Now let us see what happens in the neonates. Just we have seen that pethidine can undergo the metabolism so that it can produce two metabolites. One is the pethidinic acid and another one is the norpethidine. Pethidinic acid is inactive but norpethidine is active metabolite. Both pethidinic acid and norpethidine can undergo the conjugation so that they are converted into their corresponding conjugates. These conjugates are then excreted in the urine. So most of this pethidine is actually converted into pethidinic acid and some part of this pethidine is converted to norpethidine these two metabolites are conjugated and excreted in the urine. But in the neonates, this conjugation mechanism is not completely developed, so these two metabolites are not completely excreted in the urine. So this results in the accumulation of the pethidine, pethidinic acid as well as norpethidine in the neonates. But already we have seen that pethidinic acid is an inactive metabolite, so it does not produce any significant uh, side effects. But pethidine and norpethidine, when they are accumulated, they can produce a severe side effects in the neonate. Pethidine can produce a respiratory depression and norpethidine can produce the
convulsions in the neonates which are fatal and should be immediately treated now how it can be treated so pethidin can produce the respiratory depression and norepinephrine can produce the convulsions since the pethidin produces the respiratory depression because of the opioid action we can use the opioid antagonist like the naloxone which can control the respiratory depression but the convulsions produced by norepinephrine is in cns excitatory effect which is not related to the opioids naloxone cannot control the convulsions produced by norepinephrine in this way when the pethidin is given to control the pain during the labor it may cross the placental barrier and reached into the fetus and after the delivery the pethidin levels may be accumulated within the neonate where the pethidin can be converted into norepinephrine and as the neonate will not have a fully developed excretory mechanism these pethidin and norepinephrine are further accumulated which may produce the respiratory depression and convulsions in the neonates the respiratory depression produced by pethidin can be antagonized by naloxone but convulsion produced by norepinephrine cannot be antagonized so that's the mechanism of the pethidin induced respiratory depression and norepinephrine induced convulsions in the neonates thank you for watching this video